A big thanks to MSI and Corsair for sponsoring our Computex 2018 coverage. Check out Corsair's fancy new Vengeance RGB memory, and if you're thinking of upgrading your gaming monitor, MSI Optics MPG Curved Gaming Monitors come back with a 144Hz refresh rate, 1800i curvature, and up to 1440p resolution. For a limited time, they include a free SteelSeries mousepad and Steam gift card with every purchase in selected countries. See the link in the description to upgrade your game with MSI. Welcome back to Hard Run Box. I've just gotten back from AMD's 2018 Computex press event and there was a whole range of really cool things on show that I'm going to tell you about in just a moment. I raced all the way back to our hotel room to film this video and as you can see AMD has given me a t-shirt for my efforts. It says Threadripper second generation on it so I'm sure you can guess exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into the details on second generation Threadripper. The cool thing that AMD announced was the fact that there will be a 32 core 64 thread second gen Threadripper processor which goes well above the 16 core 32 thread processor that we got with the first generation line. Unfortunately, while we do know there's a 32 core processor coming, we don't have any other official details. So we don't know the final clock speeds, cache configuration, TDP or pricing. However, AMD did give some information on their Threadripper 2 engineering sample test systems, which were clocked at a 3.0 GHz base and turboed up to a 3.4 GHz all-core boost, although those specs aren't final. AMD also lists a 250 watt TDP, though power consumption apparently won't be that high in most workloads, and for testing they used an air cooler called the Wraith Ripper that we haven't seen just yet. But we do know it's built on a 12 nanometer processing node, and it uses the Zen Plus architecture, so that shouldn't come as a surprise considering we got both of those features with second generation Ryzen. AMD did show off a second generation Threadripper processor including a deleted version of that chip so we can see the four separate dies that are included. This is the same as first generation Threadripper however with this second gen 32 core model of course all four of those dies will be active. There are no dummy dies in this processor like with the first generation parts. Anantec also discovered that while the 32 core SKU will have four active dies only two will have direct access to memory channels while the other two will need to access memory through the infinity fabric. AMD says this should only impact memory heavy workloads. AMD also has a 24 core Threadripper SKU in the works, though at this point we're not sure what is being disabled to achieve that core count, whether it's a whole 8 core die or perhaps 2 cores per die. Second generation Threadripper CPUs will be supported on the X399 platform and will slot into existing X399 motherboards. So that explains why companies like MSI are beefing up their X399 options with improved VRMs. We have heard that that 32 core CPU will come with a TDP of 250 watts. So you'll certainly need improved power delivery and better coolers to handle these new processes. AMD did state that second gen Threadripper will be ready in the third quarter of 2018. We have heard specifically that it will be all August that these chips are coming out. First generation Threadripper came out in August of 2017, so it makes sense that second gen comes out in August of 2018. We don't have any other details on that to share, but it is super exciting that we are getting a 32 core processor in the works from AMD in their Threadripper line. In fact, we did actually see some performance figures for the 32 core chip. We saw that run a Blender benchmark. It did some intensive processing. Unfortunately, AMD didn't compare the 32 core processor to any other of their chips or any other chips from the competition. They did, however, use a 24 core SKU and compared that to the 18 core Intel Core i9 7980XE. So that's an 18 core CPU there. And they did finish a Blender workload around five seconds faster than the Intel processor, around 29 seconds on the Threadripper second gen 24 core part, and again, five seconds longer on the Intel part. So very early performance numbers there for the second gen Threadripper CPUs, but hopefully we'll be getting some more details about that in the coming months. As far as GPUs are concerned, AMD didn't have as much to share. They did state that 7 nanometer Vega is now sampling to select customers and is on track for release in the second half of 2018. Though, of course, we still expect the first 7 nanometer Vega products will be part of their Radeon Instinct line. That said, AMD did tease that 7 nanometer Vega will be coming to gaming products in the near future, so stay tuned for that, though they weren't willing to give any additional details at the moment. AMD did give us an idea, though, of what the 7 nanometer node will provide relative to the 14 
14 nanometer node for Vega, including twice the density and twice the power efficiency of the 14 nanometer node. And we're also expecting around 1.35 times the performance. So hopefully that will translate to those gaming products built with seven nanometer Vega in the coming months. If you're interested in laptops built on the Ryzen U series line, we did get a range of new designs on show from companies like Asus and Huawei for the first time. These laptops include the HP NVX 360 13-inch. We've got the new Asus 15-inch Slim and Light. We've got an Asus laptop with Ryzen and NVIDIA graphics, the Lenovo IdeaPad 530S. We also have the Huawei MateBook D14 with the Ryzen 5 2500U inside. That's a 14-inch Slim and Light design as well there. So some pretty compelling laptops from AMD and their partners there showing off those Ryzen CPUs inside. AMD also mentioned they have their second-generation Epic processors in the labs right now for testing. They've decided to completely skip Zen Plus for the Epic line, instead going straight to Zen 2 on the 7 nanometer node. Should be super interesting to see what they do in the server space with the 7 nanometer node and Zen 2. That should be sampling in the second half of 2018, right on track for release in 2019. The final things AMD had on show were things that we have seen before. However, AMD took the time to formally announce them at Computex 2018. We have the PowerColor RX Vega 56 Nano GPU, which includes a fully fledged Vega 56 inside, but of course it is a more compact card. And if you have a Samsung QLED TV, you will be getting a FreeSync update very shortly that will allow you to use FreeSync with either a PC or either an Xbox One S or Xbox One X. So very cool that they're expanding the FreeSync ecosystem into TVs as well. That's it for AMD's announcements at Computex 2018. Super excited about second generation Threadripper and that 32 core 64 thread processor. Will be very interesting to see how that performs when we get our hands on it in the coming months. You might even consider upgrading our video editing workstations to that super beastly CPU when we eventually get our hands on it. Anyway, big thanks to our Computex 2018 sponsors MSI and Corsair for helping bring us out to Taipei this year. Don't forget to subscribe for the rest of our Computex 2018 coverage and I'll catch you in the next one.